Welcome back to Krenko's Corner. It's a Coria time. It's not just a Coria time, it is a bracket battle. What the heck's a bracket battle? Well, we got 32 packs. Well, there's 36 in the box, but 32. So we got 16 on each side. People have purchased the pack for each slot. There's multiple people in here that bought multiple slots. And what's going to happen is we're going to open up pack one and pack two after we shuffle them all together, which is going to be just crazy. And what's going to happen is it's going to be each person versus each other in the bracket. And whoever has the highest CMC rare, not value, that way everybody's got an equal chance, uh, wins the pack. So in the first round of course the two people go against each other whoever has the highest converted mana cost card wins both packs those two packs will go on to the next round against the next winner of those next bracket and eventually you will get to the end where you'll have 16 rares versus 16 rares unless you have a foil rare of course and in the end those two will go for the highest cmc cost together and that is the winner i will get some scratch paper down as well because i have a feeling i'm gonna be adding up 16 cmcs very quickly and that's a good thing Ah, I think I got all the rules. Uh, oh, what do they win? Well, the winner gets the whole box. No, 32 packs that they've beaten everybody for. They also get the box topper, which will open on camera for you to all to see. Second place gets two packs. I will also open them, so they will get all that. And third and fourth place, which would be these people here, uh, they get to get a pack as well that I will open up for them. Very simple concept. Uh, you buy multiple spots. You may win something. You may win nothing. It's kind of a little bit of a gamble. And something different, fun, trying it out. If it seems to be working well, we will do it again. Um, but for now, it works out good because you could buy one spot for four bucks. That's it. Cost of a pack. And win the entire box. Which is, that's pretty good math in my opinion. Even if you bought just a few packs, you could win the whole box. So that's pretty cool. Um, trying to concept out, see how it does. And I'm still talking and we could be opening packs. So here we go. Uh, I will do a big old shuffle in here. And then start laying out the packs one by one versus each other. And trying to keep it as most organized as possible while taking notes simultaneously so without further ado put the bracket off to the side let's cut this bad boy open and why are we doing a choreo well can't get a hold of any tsr i mean what is tsr you know except a pack of cards that no one can find uh can't see a tsr anymore anywhere that's affordable for anybody on god's green earth uh and call time well, I think people are kind of over call time, but I think Akoria is a secret hidden gem. And I think people do not give it as much consideration as they should because it really was a great set. It had the mutate mechanic, which people don't use enough of. There's some amazing combos with that. Uh, and I think it's just an excellent set overall for just a lot of creatures and being able to have a lot of good stuff. And I think it's underrated. So here's the box topper. Like I said, this will be going to the winner. So we decided to do a Coria. Now we may do this again. We have a box of Core 2021 and a box of Cal Time. So we may do this again with those. We shall see. So here's the empty box. That's going to go off the side because that'll probably be part of the shipping. Here's our 36 with the little monkey that I there. And let's start taking some stacks here and start shuffling. So yes, I think a Coria was a great, phenomenal set. I think it was very much underrated. Uh, I think it did well for its starting point. I think the Apexes were excellent. Um, my only thing I didn't care for was the Mythos cards because their wording did not have commas or they really should have had commas or they should have rewritten them better. Uh, I found those to be quite confusing because I just felt like I'm reading the, a run-on sentence. So I didn't care for those as much, but I loved all the Apexes. I loved the Godzilla cards. Uh, I mean, who didn't? Uh, let's mix these all together, of course. Uh, I think they were just amazing. All the Apexes are in one deck for me that I'm building. It's a five-color mutate deck with <laughs> Kenrith the Return King. I know, of course, right? So uh, it's nasty. It is in the works. In fact, it's like oversized, unfortunately, because it's so good. Um, so I think we got a good shuffle on here. So what are we going to do first? First, we'll grab, let's see, we'll grab uh, two Coglas. That'll be for second place. So that's a tight nape there. So there's second place. And then we'll say that's third place on that one there. And then we'll grab the Vivian one for third and fourth there. So here's our packs for everybody. So let me put all that off the side. So that is first, second, third, fourth. Winners up to the side. Now I'm going to take this big pile, put it over here, just out of sight. Well, slightly. And we'll start lining up the packs. So I'm going to make it nice and easy. Robert. Woodrow. That's round one. Robert versus Woodrow. Y'all can keep notes at home if you'd like. Uh, I've got like the bracket off to the side here, which I'm going to put the notes on as well. Crossing out the losers and keeping the winners and also keeping track of the CMC simultaneously. So bear with me on that. So we'll start right off with number one. Here is Robert. 
Uh, we will go through the, the uncommons and commons as well, just for fun, because it's, it's a good time. Uh, however, if there is a tie, it is going to the very first uncommon back from the rare. If it's a double rare, you get to combine the CMCs, which means ultimately, the end, it's going to be a lot. So, just because it's a core and you need to have its justice, we'll go through a few of the commons here. I loved the Capture Sphere card because it had a whole story with this and the other red card. And it was like, his pet dinosaur. So, some of the great stuff here. Ramming through. That guy is dead. That's the mole. Okay, here we go. Fire Prophecy. Love that. Imagine that in foil. There we go. Ooh, Pouncing Shore Shark. That's awesome. I love the alternate art. Primal Empathy. Bastion of Remembrance. And Bonders Enclave. Ooh, not a good way to start. This is a zero right here. So, uh, that's no good. But it's still a cool land. Bonders Enclave. That's, uh, looks like Snapdax in the art there. So we have a zero as the starting point here. So Woodrow, as long as you don't draw a zero on your pack with the land, looks like you might be getting the first win here. So that's okay, guys. This is all just for fun. Uh, ultimately, you know, this is going to, somebody's going to win the whole thing. And maybe somebody hasn't played Magic long, you know. Maybe somebody's new to Magic and they're going to win basically a whole box for $4. Um, you know, and ultimately that's pretty cool, I think. So here we go through the cards. Again, these are Woodrow's right now. So, oh, there's a little kitty cat, a dolphin. Anyone want to make dolphin tribal? Oh, wait, it says elemental whale. Mm-hmm. Whisper Squad. Okay, there we go. Great EDH card. Mysterious Egg. Also, the Japanese alternate art of this for the Mutate decks. Okay, Trumpeting Gnar. Not the tuba, but the trumpet. There we go. Bastion of Remembrance again. And what? Okay, y'all saw me shuffle this. These are fresh pack rares. Fresh box, everything. Identical rares in the first two packs. So we have double zeros here. Here's the land. Here's the token. Let's go with the first uncommon back. I didn't think we are going to have a tiebreaker in the first one. This is like a game of war. Anybody played war growing up with cards? Look at that. Next one back is Bastion of Remembrance versus Bastion of Remembrance. We got another tie here. This is like a game of war that you go out for. So here we go. Bonders Enclave, zero, three, and three. And... Winner is Blade Banish with one convert mana cost higher, which was Robert's pack. Robert, you are the winner. I don't know how this stuff happens. So there we go. And everything's going to go back back in the exact order there. Rares are going to go on top just like that. So we have a double zero right now. Woodrow, you unfortunately lost the first round, and I'm putting a double zero next to Robert's name. No big deal. It is still for the fun of everything. So these two packs have gone off to here to be on Robert's name for round one. Okay, next round. Here we go. This is numbers three and four. This is Lucy versus David. Let's crack right into these. See, there's the other story card for Bidden Friendship. And then there's the token that goes with it, of course. I can't believe we had a tie in the first round. That was insane. Convolute. Moloch, Titanoth, Rex. Rogren Crystal and Savai Triome. We got the foil in there. It wasn't a foil rare. So Savai Triome got a zero cost on that one. Looks like David's going to be taking this one here. I don't think we're going to pull another land. Hey, right, there's the Prickly Marmoset. Okay, let's see where we're going here. Ooh, Almighty Brushwag. Yeah, and Cavern Whisper. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. See, that's what I'm saying. The cards in this set were some great art. Ooh, Microfairy Greyhorn. Gloom Pangolin. Zagoth Crystal, back for more, and Yadaro, the Wandering Monster. So, Yadaro definitely wins here on that one. So, we have a zero plus that. So, in that round, Lucy unfortunately lost, and David took home seven CMC on that one. So, that is David's with seven. Okay, next round. Yeah. <clears throat> My pack's already starting to fall here. Next round is... Uh, Woodrow versus William. So Woodrow and William. So Woodrow, here we go. Your next pack. Uh oh, it's the thieving altar. Yeah, go for the blood. Everybody see Luca is on uh, Strixhaven. They confirm that Luca is on Strixhaven. Two versions of his art. I believe he's going to be in Lorehold based on what he's wearing. He's wearing like adventuring archaeological gear. So I think he's going to be Lorehold. All right, here we go. Micatory Greyhorn. Dreamtail hair, and that's a nice alternate art. Boneyard Lurker, and Shark Typhoon in there for a 6 CMC right off the bat. So there we go. Woodrow's running in for a 6 CMC. 
Gonna try to take out William here in this round. Let's flip it around here. There's Luca again showing off himself. Here we go. Straight Scorpion. Evolving Wilds, best card in Magic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ruinous Ultimatum. That is a two, three, four, five, six, seven CMC. So that is the winner right there with seven. That puts Woodrow out for this round. William wins it, so he gets the six and the seven, putting him at 13 for that round. Like I said, these two rares together, that's 13. So there we go. We're crossing out, moving people on here. And just got to take care of this here while I'm remembering it. So Robert, and put the uncommon there. David and William. Okay, very cool. I think what's going to happen is it's going to flow here. Once we get through the packs, it's going to become very easy because you're just going to take the rares and show them against each other. Uh, and that works out pretty cool. So next up here, that was William. And next round is David versus Lucy. Here we go, David. All right. That guy got shot. All right. Sarah. Pyro Ceratops. I mean, it's a lot of cool cards, man. You got, ooh, Human Assassin. That could go good in a good deck, I can think of. Boot Nipper. Watch your boots. Here we go. Sky Cat Sovereign, also known as Sky Dancer. That's a two CMC there. That's David's. I think Lucy can probably beat that one here, so let's roll into that. All right, we got that. Spontaneous Flight. There's a Flying Fox, the Flutter Fox. Anticipate. And rare is Sea Dasher Octopus. Yeah, for three. So C Dasher Octopus wins alternate art. That puts Lucy at three on that one and David at two. So David is defeated in this round, putting Lucy as the winner for that round at five CMC total. So that's the next one. Okay, next round. William, Robert. William versus Robert. Here we go. Like I said, one, one pack could win the whole thing, you know, because it adds up all the CMCs. And then in the end, it's going to be one side versus the other. I like the Essence Symbiote. I think that's a good card because you get that Mutate and plus the Counter and the Life. Archipelago, Indatha Crystal, and Narset. Ooh, we pulled a Mythic here. It's one, two, three, four CMC. So we got a Narset trying to lead the way here from William. Now, here we go. Here is Robert. All right. There's the Kitty Cat. Hopefully, the Kitty Cat will get you the win. Going through some good cards here. Pacifism, Survive Thundermane, Ivy Elemental, and Death's Oasis for three. So it looks like Death's Oasis lost to Narset. Narset from William pulling in three out of Robert, taking the win. So William wins this round with seven CMC total. And I hope this makes sense, you guys. It's, a, it's just a mathematical equation. So really, once we get through the first packs on both sides, you'll be able to just add up the math. And see who the ultimate victor is without having to do too much. So that's pretty cool. So next round is Caesar versus Sam. So Caesar, here we go. Um, let's hope we can get something cool here. I hope we get some Apexes, and that's really... I mean, they're not high CMC, so I think that's what makes it cool. Um, doing the CMC versus the value. Because if you had the person with the highest value card in the set, they would automatically win the whole box. But with the CMCs, it gives a chance for somebody to... Uh, maybe a less valuable card to win a valuable card so i just thought hey that sounds more fair so caesar here we go lots of monsters a honey mammoth yum yum watch your boots crustacean ooh, ooh. that's a <laughs> look at that double dismal backwater one foil and there's obosh the prey pier so that's a three four five right there that's a good way to start off everybody likes obosh he's good in some decks commanders especially watch out here comes a nightmare squirrel Okay, Sam, here we go with your pack, buddy. Let's see if you can take out Caesar in this round. Okay, whirlwind of thought. One, two, three, four. It was not quite enough to beat Obosh. So we have a 5-4 uh, victory for Caesar, taking home 9 CMC total. So Caesar wins that round with Obosh against the whirlwind of thought. All right, next up we have Robert versus Destiny. Uh, which was purchased by Alex, uh, which was one pack for his wife and one pack for his uh, or fiance and daughter, I believe. Yeah, wife or fiance, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but here we go. So here we are is Robert, and this is his, I'm going to guess Destiny is his daughter. 
Uh, here we go. Robert, let's see what you do on your pack. And like I said, this is kind of, a, I thought it was a cool idea and hopefully you guys will like it as well. Um, throw us a like if you enjoy the content and then uh, throw us a comment too, what you thought of this. Uh, I just thought it was something different. Gives everybody that equal chance to kind of win it all. Um, let me know what you think and if you want to participate too. <laughs> all right, here we go. Cloud Piercer, Volpke, there's the Fox Bird. Duskfang Mantor, Dire Tactics. Ooh, Dranith Magistrate, good car. Only two CMC, but it's a good card. See, that's what's interesting about these. You may get a low CMC car, but it's really ha, strong. Like this goes in quite a few of my decks that I use. Um, it's in my Pillow Fort deck. But only holds two CMC, so it can easily lose to this pack. So here we go. Destiny, this is your pack. You can thank Alex for this. I hope it's great for everybody. And here we go. Oh, look at this. You got foil in there, but you got Luminous Broodmoth for the Mythic on that one. Look at that. So four, five. Yes, those six total. So you obviously won. Luminous Broodmoth has the four CMC. So Destiny wins against Robert, who had two CMC, making Destiny the winner of this round with a CMC of total of six with both packs combined. Awesome. Very cool. All right, so next person in this round is Caesar versus Woodrow. And this is the last half of the left side of the rankings. And then from there, we'll do the right side, and we'll be able to do the math very easily and see who won without having to mess with the cards too much. Okay, here we go. Here's Caesar's pack. And like I said, this is all random. You saw, you saw me shuffle everything, so uh, it's definitely just going to come down to who takes the math. So we have Crystalline Giant there for a CMC of three. I know it's called uh, Man of Value now, but I am old school. We call it CMC. All right. The dryer just went off saying, hey, your laundry's done. All right. Here we go. Your Sandworm, Pacifism, Blister, Spit, Gremlin. It's not a goblin. It's a gremlin. All right. What do we got? Savaya, Thundermane, and Zygoth. Oh, another Foley, boys. Zygoth, Triumph. So you got one of the Triumphs, but that holds a zero CMC, which means that Caesar has defeated Woodrow and taken home that round. We're converted to Mana Cost of three. Now, if any of you have been keeping track at home, you can actually see, just by the quick math, who already has won. At least on that side. So I'm going to move those packs over there while we move up the piles. Um, that way I can get over to the uh, bracket that I've now covered up and cannot see. <laughs> small table, small space. But that works out okay because I can see the other side. Okay, so the left side is done. Um... You can kind of see already what's going on with the math, but there's no amount of victory yet because just because somebody has a strong round doesn't mean it's not going to end. So now we're on to the right side. Yeah, I've covered up the left so you guys can't figure it out yet. So here's our right side going into the next round here. So, and away we go. First up, we got the matching packs here. Lucy versus David. Uh, they want to challenge each other directly and go head to head in all of their battles. So no matter what happens, uh, they were only against each other from the start. So here's Lucy's pack. Almighty oh, Brushwag. Yeah, watch out for that guy. And the Honey Mammoth. Here we go. And Dot the Crystal. And the Hunted Nightmare. Disgusting. Awesome, but disgusting. That's got a CMC of three on it. Here we go with David's pack. Man, there's just so many creatures in this set, which is why I really liked uh, just a strong focus on having creatures for once and not always being spell-slinging. Uh, more of a creature player myself anyway. Oh, there's the Mythros of Nethroi. But that means it's three on three, so we got a tiebreaker time. Get rid of the land, move the token, and then the first uncommon in the back. First uncommon on that side is a three, followed by Boon of the Wishgiver on the back is a six. So... That is a win for David. David wins. So we have three and three on CMC. And that puts David with the win at six CMC, adding in the rares together using the uncommon as the tiebreaker. So we'll put those back the way they came. Put the rares on top. Okay, so let's see if we can get some more mythics. It's been kind of a slow box so far, but not bad. Uh, we got the Luminous Broodmoth and Narset. So here we go. Next round is Robert and Woodrow. 
Those are guys are going against each other there. Roberts first with the Vivian pack here. The dueling Vivian packs. Cathartic reunion. They're very happy to see each other again. We got the kitty cat. Watch out. Dead weight. Watch out for spinner rats. Kitty cat again. Cloud piercer. Volk Keat. Catcher of Crystal. And the Dirge Bat alternate art. So that's a 2 3 4 right there in the CMC. That's a great card. That's in my mutate deck as well. You know, flash flying and mutate. Destroy target planeswalker or, or a creature opponent controls. Yeah. That's a good time. All right, now let's see if Woodrow can beat Robert in this round with that four CMC rare. All right, here we go. C Dasher Octopus coming in at three CMC, <coughs> which gives Robert the win, and his total goes up to seven for that round, adding in the two CMCs together. All right, next round is David versus Lucy again. This is their fourth battle. Got Cogler versus Vivian here. All right, let's see who's going to take home everything here. So there's that pack. Roll through them here. And again, these are some, some great staple cards. If you didn't get a lot of Akoria, uh, I think this is a fun way to do it, especially with the uncommons being not as easy to get sometimes. Look at that Chittering Harvester, and then rolling right into a Death's Oasis for the rare. That's a 3 CMC there for David. Lucy here taking her spot. Let's see if she can defeat David on that round. And go from there. All right, where we got one, two, and Ketria Triome. So we pulled another Triome, which is a zero CMC, which gives David the win with a total of three CMC and combining the two packs. So David pulls out the victory there with a three CMC. And we're going on to the next round, which is William versus Caesar. So here's William's pack. And I know we're kind of rolling through this. So my videos tend to be long because I talk a lot, but I'm going to try to make the math easy for everybody here. So they can see who is won very easily. All right. Look at that. I like that card. That's the one that's in the trailer with uh, Vivian. Tagia Tiger. Migration Path. Love this. So it's a good cycle card. Getting two basic lands. We got a Necropanther. Friendland Felidar. So that's a four cost CMC. We have not seen a foil rare or foil mythic yet in this box. So there's the Cat Beast with the four CMC. That's coming in from William right now. And then here we go. Caesar's going to take see if he can beat William here. Ooh, look at that Cavern Whisperer. See, I love all the alternate arts. That was when we first started seeing them. Look at all these beasts. Called the Death Dweller, Cunning Nightbonder, Barrier Breach, and then Death the Triumphs. We pulled almost all the Triumphs here, but that is a 0 CMC right there. So William beats Caesar with a 4 total. 4 CMC total right there. So here we go. Next round is Woodrow uh, versus Ashley, um, which is uh, sponsored by Alex. So here we go here. So Woodrow, here's your pack, buddy. I hope you get something spicy here. But, man, this is quite the interesting thing. You know, you could say, oh, I want one spot and win the whole entire thing on $4. So that's why uh, I thought it was very interesting because you basically could win a whole box. Or if, even if you bought five spots, man, it was 20 bucks. Boom. You bought a box of cards for twenty dollars. Pretty good deal, I think. Uh, and it's kind of the fun of mixing everything together. Maybe somebody new is gonna get all the cards, so I think it's fun. Trumpeting Nor. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nethroid, the apex of death. That's two, three, four, five. Awesome art on that, and that's just a good time right there. Death Touch, Life Link. Plus, you got the foil, uh, Auspicious Starix there. So that is a good way to go in there. That is Woodrow's pack. He's running a 5 CMC. That's going to be hard to beat unless uh, you get the X and X spell. But X counts as 0, so you do not want to get an X because X can hold no value unless you put man into it. So let's go for, I don't know, I'm not even sure what could be here. Back for more. Polywalk Symbiote, good card. And Runus Ultimatum. Oh, my God. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <gasps> Oh my, pulled it out with the seven CMC. So Ashley is the victor over Woodrow. Ashley moves on to the next round with 12 total CMC between the two packs combined. That is going to be nasty and hard to beat. That is something else right there. All right, next round, we have William versus Woodrow. Here we go. William's on the left side here. He's hoping for something special to win the whole box. That Tigerilla is going to hopefully do it for him here. Where we go in Deadweight, Light of Hope. 
Sleep or dark, time to take a nap. Skull Prophet, don't take a nap, guys. You're watching the video. Auspacious Starrex and Kogla, the Titan Ape. Three, four, five, six CMC in there. That's going to be hard to beat. William's taking that spot right there. And like I said, he's up against Woodrow. Woodrow wants to win after losing that last round to Ashley with that high CMC card. So here we go. Spell Eater Wolverine. The Honey Mammoth coming in there. Watch out for the scatter. Plumbing to the ground with the Momentum Rumbler. And then, oh, look at this. This is a good pack. General Kudro of Dranith. Mythic with Auspacious Starix. Uncommon. See, we, if that was a rare, we would have doubled it. We would have added the man together. But that's cool. Look at that alternate art foil. So General Kudro right in with a 3 CMC on there. That puts William as beating uh, Woodrow this round. So Win William takes the whole CMC of 9. So that's cool. So Kogla really jumped in there and took that pack right out of there. Okay, next round is Caesar versus Alex. Alex got his pack, and he's one for his, like I said, for his fiance and his daughter. So here we go. Caesar, see if he can clench the win of the whole tournament on a single pack of cards. And that, I think it's a fun concept. So he had that starring development with the checkpoint officer. He had an adventurous in point where he needed that sleepy dart to convolute the fangs of the Essence symbiote. Will of that all hunter, and then he came out swinging with the dirge bat. Two, three, four. That's the regular art dirge bat. After four CMC in there for Caesar, guys. I know I've got a lot of, uh, talking a lot faster. I had a lot of caffeine so far. So here comes Alex's pack at position thirty in the bracket, and we'll see if we can get something spicy. And who's gonna win the whole thing? Has anybody got any bets? Anybody figure out the math already? Ooh, look at this proud wild monitor. Love that card. Trample creatures you control with trample have made uh, assign damage as though it weren't blocked. Void Beckoner, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. That's some good uncommons. And then we roll into a double rare pack. It looks like it's going to be a home run, but then you see it's Dranth the Magistrate and a Foil Bonders Enclave, which is the third one of the box. And that gives you only two CMC on that one, even with a double rare. So Alex, unfortunately, is defeated by Caesar. With a total CMC of the rares together, four versus two, giving him the six for the win. All right, last pack, and then we go into math, guys. Math is simple. I think it's a fun way to do things, too. So, Woodrow, Robert. Has anyone figured out who the winner was yet? It's not highest CMC total. Remember, it's going to be high CMC per round, and then you add them together. So, just because you come out swinging with a big one may not beat the next. So, here we go. Last two packs. I see an alternate art, flame spell, Luca, foil, adventures, impulse, but there's a Luca alternate art, mythic, coming out swing, so we got both of the planeswalkers out of here, except Vivian, of course, that's a three, four, five for Woodrow, Woodrow says, I want the whole kit and caboodle here, Robert, you ain't gonna beat me, I'm getting the whole box, so he's gonna try to beat everybody here, you guys watch out, so here we go, that last pack of the box, and then we'll show you how we're gonna do the math, and you can see it. Easily with your eyes. Here we go. Riel. Ooh, foil essence scatter. That's nice looking too. And Riel, the Everwise Mythic. So we have double mythic finale here. That's a three for Robert. But that means Woodrow beats uh Robert with a five CMC, giving him the win. So Woodrow takes the win in that final round, going to eight CMC total for the two packs combined. Now, now that I've made a big pile of cards off to the side. And I don't want to drop them all. It's time to show you how this all works. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, first round, we had Robert. He took the win with the tiebreaker, but he had the double zero rares there versus David. David's got a 7 CMC in there. So as you can see, David's going to take the win, combining all their scores together. Double zero with seven. David takes the next round. And now I've got cards falling off the table of my own pile. <laughs> William, he showed up with that big bomb over there. And took the 13 CMC win. But then he goes against Lucy here, who's only got the 5. So William takes the win there, rolls through with an 18 total CMC. Next round, we have William with 7, Caesar with 9. As you can see here, Caesar takes the win there with 16 CMC going across. Next round, Destiny versus Caesar. Destiny takes the win over Caesar, taking the 9 CMC victory. Right side. David versus Goliath. I mean, David versus Robert. Ooh, Robert sneakily wins the victory over David, giving him 13 CMC. David versus William. William takes it over David, giving him the 7 CMC.
like I said, it's adding all the CMCs together. Ashley versus William. Ooh, that big bomb there, that 12 over William. Gives Ashley the win at 21. And Caesar versus, whoop, Caesar versus Woodrow. Woodrow takes the win there, giving him a combined total of 14. You can almost see where the end is going to be. All right, here we go. David, William, that's a big beat right there. William takes the final four spot here with 25. Caesar at 16. Destiny at 9. Caesar takes the win. Ooh, at 25 as well. <gasps> I didn't think this could happen. Let's go on the other side. Robert versus William takes the 20. So there we go. Robert takes the win over William, giving him the 20. Ashley with that 21, dropping out on the bomb on Woodrow's 14, giving her a huge win there with a 35. All right. So very easy here to do the math, guys. William and William would William would beat uh, <laughs> William would beat himself there. He'd tie on himself. Ashley would defeat Robert to go into the finals, which would give Ashley a CMC total of 55. William, even if he uh, tied, would give himself the 50, which would mean CMC-wise he would tie, and no matter what the tiebreaker would be in this case, he would defeat himself, which would give him second and third. So that's very easy because it's, it's the same person. So here we go. First place goes to Ashley. Second place to William. Third place to William. Fourth place to Robert. So... That's the, that's the math of it. Math's fun. So here's the victors. So congratulations to Ashley, which I believe is Alex's fiance or wife. Or I hope you, you, you are going to be very happy. So here's fourth place. This goes to William, no matter, this goes to, excuse me, Robert. Robert gets this pack no matter what. This isn't part of the winnings of Ashley. Uh, so this one is separate no matter what. I will have a little sticky note here that specifically says Robert's name on it. Um, so this will be Robert's no matter what is inside. So Robert, here's what you got. Here's the fourth place prize. And you know what? I might just throw some other stuff in here. I'm going to grab some other stuff in here and throw some more things in. So here is your pack. Tentative Connection, Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Spell Eater Wolverine, Durable Coil Bug, Bristling Boar, Dreamtail Heron in the regular art, Adaptive Shimmer, Vulpkeet, Moscoat Goriak, Will of the All Hunter, Polywog Symbiote, Rawgrin Crystal, and a Labyrinth Raptor for you rare, which we had not seen in the rest of the box. So, Robert, there's your pack. That's off to the side. And third place, which went to William because he was against himself. So congratulations, William, on third and second place. Because even with your combined total there, everyone could see the math would have been 50. All right, here we go. Cathartic Reunion, Divine Arrow, Glimmer Bell, Pyroceratops, Mutual Destruction, Fully Grown. Yeah, it's the beast that's from his shoulder now fully grown. Farfinder. Spring Jaw Trap, Excavation Mole, Sprite Dragon, Lore Dracus, Heartless Act, and your rare is the Everquill Phoenix, followed by, oh, that would have been a beefy win right there. Colossification for seven, and that would have been Everquill Phoenix for four. That would have been an 11 pack. That would have wrecked. But that's a cool pack. Good mutate card with a good um, aura for 2020. And then you got the Narset um, the emblem there. So that's a cool pack. That's going out to you, William. Let me write your name on here, William. And he's got two. Be good if I could connect the letters correctly. All right, so there's Williams. And then second place. And second place is two packs. First place has the topper. So two more packs going to William. So William's got three packs total. Let me make sure I make note of that because I don't want to get any math wrong at all. I do like math. Math's good. good. Math is good. All right, here's your next pack there. Windfall, Terran, Frenzied Raptor, Imposing Vantasaur. That's a dinosaur. Good Vigilant Cycle card. Gust of Wind, Whisper Squad, Suffocating Fumes. I see something shiny in the back. Farfinder, Cloud Piercer, Coordinated Charge, Keen Sight, Mentor, Easy Prey. Ooh, Porky Parrot, he is swole. 
Court Woods Crashers, the rare. That would have been good. That's a two, three, four, five right there. Foil Frisk Frill Scare Mentor, uncommon. That's cool. Yeah. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with Menace. Hello. That's going in some uh, Engrath Minotaur builds, I would say. Nice. That's a nice pack right there. So, William, that's your pack for you. I got to remember about that card. I got a deck that can go in. All right. Here is the last pack before we get to the topper for the winner. All right. Go for Blood. Divine Arrow. Wingful Terron, Cavern Whisper, Almighty Brushwag, Raking Claws, Evolving Wilds, Memory Leak, Essence Scatter, Greater Sandworm, Titanoth Rex, Majestic Oricorn, Boon of the Wish Giver, and Obosh the Prey Piercer is your rare. So that's the second Obosh we pulled in the box, which I think is good. Uh, so that's your rare there for William. So William has his three packs. So those are off the side up here. So Robert's one and William's three. And then we have the box topper. So this is actually going to Ashley, who won the whole thing. Put that off to the side there and be so, so gentle. All right, guys, let's pray that this is not Baby Godzilla. Uh, nobody wants to put Baby Godzilla. But if you don't have one, well, that's okay too, right? Because if you don't have one, it's still cool. So we've got the pull tab there. Got to be gentle with this as best we can. Got our sleeve out ready in case it's some big guy. Okay, here we go, Ashley. Here is your Godzilla card. Ooh, Gigan the Cyberclaw Terror in foil. That is awesome. Look at that. So that is your foil box topper for the Aquaria box here. Look at that. In the right light, you can see the armor absolutely shining on that, and that is phenomenal. So that is the prize for the whole battle as you can see there's some piles right here those are all the piles for all the double packs put together uh again i want to thank you guys uh for participating in what is our first ever bracket battle so our winner is ashley ashley wins so thank you guys for joining us today on the first ever bracket battle of vicoria if you liked it, throw us a like. We appreciate the thumbs up on the video. If you enjoy the content, uh, subscribe to the channel. We're doing deck tacks. We do box openings. We do episodes of Booze and Burn, which I'm working on right now as well. And we got some good stuff. Head over to our TikTok. All the details are in the description of the video, guys. So we appreciate you guys again coming by Cranko's Corner. And we hope you all have a wonderful day.